yeah, well, um, as you can see, the, the truck is um, back up again. Um, LNEO Special 2 has started production. But now, I just thought we'd take a look at this. Well, um, you've, see, you've seen it before. It's um, She's visiting for LNEO Special 2. And yeah, yeah, you probably guessed it. And belongs um, yeah, to my good friend J um, James. You know, of course, Level Crossing 225. Just recently filmed my Western Pullman set on his layout. This, of course, is his, uh, yeah, yeah, Model A4 Bitten, yeah. Um, having a visiting here for the LNR Special 2. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, of course, you have the information there. It was in April 1966. You know, she's, well, she's not in the box, she's actually on the track. Um, uh, well, she hasn't actually run for um, a couple of months. She, was, she wasn't brilliant, but um, given a bit of lubrication, quick service, or she should get better. But yeah, um, we'll have a look at it in, in a second. Of course, you saw her just towards the end of last year when I did, um, you know, the A4 comparison video. You know, comparing my railroad um, Falcon and this, yeah, as you can see, su yeah, it's just super detail model. But from um, just over ten years ago, two thousand and one or two, of course. So, and of course, they're super deep. Yeah, yeah, the Hornby super detail models um, have well, it, you know, it has lifted quite a bit. Again, she's a fantastic model, tender driven, of course. Again, I know that they're, they're not everyone's favourite. Um, yeah, but you know, <clears throat> again, this super detail there, and you know, well, same type of box as a lock, which I got, um, you know, two um, super detail about 2005 or six. Although, again, that, yeah, she's apparently from 2001 again. My friend James got her from Going Loco, um, just last year, but yeah, but really good buy, you know, for second hand, and yeah, a price there, yeah, 89 pounds, so not too bad. And yeah, she was in really, really good condition, a, re a really, really good second hand buy, um. Oh, oh yeah, and uh, yeah, a special edition as well, special edition of 500, this one, number 87. Um, oh yeah, oh, it says there, was it, was it Michael S. S. Welch, October 25th, 2001, so let's, yeah, let's ha have a look and have another look at her. <clears throat> of course, um, you would have got a couple of shots of her uh, when, uh, when I just uh, filmed my Western Pullman running on, on his layout, she was just on standby in the siding. Yeah, but um, here she is. You know, you know, we can now have a good close look. Just let it come into focus. Yeah. Yeah, we know Bitten okay, don't we? Um, yeah, uh, um, of course, she's currently in LNR Blue. They painted her LNR Blue for the Great Gathering two years ago. Yeah, I can't, I can't believe it's two years since the Great Gathering. Um, yeah, yeah, Mala 75th. But yeah, good wheels. Uh, you know, of course, of course, they can spin freely because she's tender driven. And like my Flying Scotsman, which is also on the track, um, this turn, yeah, which I, I just prefer with with proper flanged wheels. Um, you know, so, um, usually now, you know, um, usually these bits are fixed on the flangeless wheels. Like, well, you know, it does the job, but I prefer if the wheels actually fit on the track here. And um, yeah, of course, these um, just like my flying scots, and these wheels have pickups in. As you can tell, just a little blue top there. I think he stuck. I think he stuck those bits on. So yeah, she's in brilliant condition. You know, I'm a model with sprung buffers. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Bitten's currently in LNER Blue, um, although she, yeah, she did have the side skirts, just like Mallard, although I think, I think they've recently taken them off. Again, I don't know, I still can't fully decide if, if I, if I prefer A4s with the side skirts on or off, again, again, put down in, uh, I'm not sure if I've, if I've asked you to do it before, you know, put down if you prefer them with them on or off, I don't know, even though I like seeing the whole wheels, I think having the side skirts on makes them look a bit more, slight more streamlined or, or well, or futuristic. But yeah, you know, seeing you know, seeing this whole exposed curve, you know, slightly curved running plate, it really does add to the streamline effect as well. But yeah, again, you know, for us, um, a super detail model um, that's um, you know about about fifteen, fourteen, fifteen years old now, you know, uh, in a double chimney. You know, the detail still, you know, it still is no, you know, noticeably there. Of course, if you were to buy a brand new bit and now or like especially a great gathering edition yeah you know there would be quite a difference um and yeah you know quite surprising um actually that well again um tender driven model looks so it's like when i bought my a4 falcon just uh, in about 2009 um i thought she was going to be tender driven but no um even though her tender's got quite a bit of weight in it she's loco driven Again, you know, um, i thought i'd compare them because some of the detail is the same because um basically right um this tender is basically now the railroad style tender, you know, you know, of course the corridor one. 
you know, uh, in terms of loco, you know, it's best to compare, um, you know, two A fours together. <laughs> um, yeah, um, you know, it's uh, not much point comparing it. Um, well, my A three flying Scotsman, um, with her. But we can, if I just get flying Scotsman's tender. Here's flying Scotsman's tender. Um, the only sort of difference, slight difference is on the roofs. You know, Benton's got this like curved part. You know, curved part of the front here, and uh, the uh, Scotsman the A three hasn't. Um, but yeah, in terms of detail, it is identical yeah you know what I'm saying yeah you know the uh, you know the, the water top part there you know for the water filler and the corridor part there it's, yeah they are in terms of detail it is uh, it is I'm sorry my arm blocking the light there as usual but yeah they are identical in terms of detail the ends there so, yeah, okay, I'll put Bitten on the truck and see how she runs. Again, she wasn't brilliant. Again, um, I don't know if, if I don't know if it's part of the like tender driven ones being more temperamental. Cause um, how you know over the years, Scotsman's been reliable enough, but you know obviously it's, it's not it's not been perfect. Again, she's the only tender driven loco I've ever had. And again, from what I can remember, when I opened a Christmas Day in 2003, uh, probably there was an issue. Oh, um, my my dad had to. We removed the tender off, and he wasn't exactly well. He he was getting a bit worried. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, um, my fine Scotsman. Then it's just about you know one or two years older than this, and um, you know, uh, of course, my fine Scotsman is. Um, uh, hang on, we'll get her anyway. Of course, she's a railroad style one. Although the usual difference, if you if you buy her separately, or although there has been a couple of. You know, it's been sort of slightly updated and changed, you know, over the years, you know, to now. Again, same bit here, but, um, yeah, I think if you buy just a loco itself, this bit's fixed and we're flying just wheels. But, yeah, um, it is the budget, uh, yeah, railroad style one, um, you know, just in the train set. Um, there's not a, but yeah, you know, cause, um, obviously, you know, back in about 2001 or, you know, two to three, this is a 2001 model. I got Scotsman in 2003, yeah. In terms of, like, detail you know what you know but you know budget compared to super yeah, yeah, yeah um yeah no it's not much worth you know well you know comparing an a3 and a4 but in terms of detail yeah there wasn't a you know massive difference you know back then but uh, and of course it really has lifted let's get Ben on the truck and see how she runs okay well here we are at the layout We've got some good news um after a fair runs ar around the layout and a little, again, a little serve yesterday, you know, a bit, uh, bit of lubrication. She's actually improved, and yeah, she's um, she's not really hesitating anymore. Um, she's running quite well. She's she's smoothing up. But anyway, let's get her running. Yep, as you can see, she has smoothened up very well. She's she's going excellently. Actually, also trap magic's help it well, and I've just run out of trap magic. I'll have to get some more. But with the trap ma a bit of trap magic ap applied to them, she's actually, yep, she's smoothened up very well. And so yeah, of course you, you'll see her running in in LNR special too. But let's um, let's couple her onto the, the flying Scotsman's teak coaches here. Okay, she's coupled onto the Scotsman's teak coaches. Let's see her running with them, yeah. Um, yeah, of course, you know, you'll see her pulling, well, so, uh, when you're this, well, um, hopefully a longer train and, and a few more in LNER Special 2. Here she comes. I mean, hello, speed running is quite good as well. Again, she was hesitating on the point just yesterday, but she seems fine now. I know we all we all want to see NA4 running fast, don't we? But yeah, I mean, the low speed running is pretty good. MCA, um, so yeah, all look forward to seeing her 
run, yeah, uh, running with different and yeah, hopefully longer trains in Elanor Festival 2 in July.